Emerald Coco wants to know, what are the benefits of going with an F7 flight controller rather than an F4? Um, F7 flight controller has more processing power, okay? Uh, for the most part, that doesn't matter very much because the things that the F7 faster processor lets you do don't have a very profound effect on flight performance for most people. So for example, with an F F4 processor, if you wanna run bi-directional D-Shot 600, you're probably gonna be running at like a 4K gyro and a 2K PID loop, right? That's not as fast as you, you could run. Um, I think the fastest you can run is 8K, 8K, and uh, an F7 might run 8K gyro 4K PID loop. Um, realistically, I think that almost nobody could actually like blind tell the difference between those two things, even though it does have some effect on the flight performance. Very little though. Um, so I think that the main advantage of an F7 is that the UARTs are more flexible. On an F4, the UARTs don't support inversion. So uh, because uh, FreeSky SBUS is an inverted serial protocol, F4 flight controllers have to make special uh, consideration. They have to have UARTs with inverters on them, and sometimes those UARTs are not available. If you're not using FreeSky, they're not available for something else. A lot of times, F4 flight controllers will have fewer UARTs overall than F7 processors. They don't have to, but a lot of times they do. And so the, the situation with an F4 usually requires a little bit more thought about how many peripherals am I going to have? Receiver, GPS, digital video transmitter, etc. And then how many UARTs do I have access to and where am I going to put those things? And on some F4 flight controllers, like the, the Zylo Stacks that goes in my uh, beginner build series, has only two UARTs available, just TX and RX available for anything to use. And the rest of the UARTs are designated for SBUS or telemetry inverted protocols. They're tied up in that way. And so if you have a GPS and you have a Crossfire receiver, whoop, there's no more UARTs for you to use for other things. Um, and it, there are ways to work around that. I've got videos about how to work around that, but it does put you in a little bit of an awkward situation. Whereas if you had an F7, you would just have four or five or six UARTs and you could use them for whatever you want. And so I think that um, if you're on a budget, buy an F4, you're not really missing out on very much. That's what I would say.